You were born just six weeks ago. I carried you for 11 months across thousands of miles of open oceans to this peaceful sanctuary sheltered from the violent seas, hidden from dangerous predators. And now you frolic and play, exploring the amazing wonders of this strange new world. Every sight and every sound new, you're both curious and cautious. This will serve you well, my little one, in the journey to come. Not easy, your movements are clumsy and you tire quickly. Gaining 50 kilos of body weight a day is certainly no easy task, but keep feeding, you need your strength. You continue to swim, to explore, slowly learning to control your powerful fluke. Building strength day by day so that one day soon, you'll be strong enough to make the great journey with me to our feeding ground. And you'll need your strength for out there, there are dangers that await ones you don't yet know of and some you'll never understand. While you play, I rest below, keeping a watchful motherly eye on my only child, the child I care so dearly about. I will not feed for months all of my energy, my being, dedicated to nourishing you and preparing you for what's ahead. Here, more and more fleets of men appeared with a single goal, to destroy us. Armed with fierce harpoons, they slaughtered countless of our kind. Not even the calves like you were spared, their anguished cries echoing through the water as they fell, one by one to the merciless reign of terror. I hear those cries like they were yesterday. Year after year, the killing continued and our numbers dwindled until there were but a few of us left. It seemed certain that the time of the humpbacks was drawing to an end. Then, one day, about two decades ago, the men stopped coming and the killing suddenly stopped. In all my life, I had never known such a peace. We fed, we journeyed, we raised our young, all in this wonderful peace. Our children grew strong and our numbers multiplied. There was hope once again for all humpbacks. But our smaller cousins, they were not as fortunate. The men returned and the killing resumed. This time, however, we humpbacks were spared. Each year, the men slaughtered more and more of our small cousins with their cruel harpoons, our cousins' innocent blood spilling into the water around us. The desperate cries of our dying cousins left permanent scars. Our sanctuary was once again a killing ground. These are worries for another day, my child. Today you play, feed, grow strong. Explore the beauty of this wondrous new world and then return to the safety and comfort of me, your adoring mother. When we journey to our sanctuary deep down, I still fear this is the year, the year the men with the harpoons will return and take you from me. It's my dream that we can stop living in fear that the men will stop coming forever, the killing will finally end, and the sanctuary will be our safe sanctuary once again. Then, and only then, we will rule the oceans, keeping them healthy and free, to do what we're meant to do for centuries and centuries to come. <laughs>